Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Great Balls of Flour and this one's going to be a very quick video on what to do when you've received your dough balls and they've come in the bags. Um, we updated our uh, process of how we receive them, send them out from the plastic pots to the bags and um, mainly because we were getting a lot of complaints from people so oh not many but people were complaining that the pots were cracking in um, transit so not very good when you're receiving it so we've gone back to um, bags and um, what do you do when you receive your ball bag um, so the most important thing to do really is when you get it take it out of the insulated envelope that we um, ship it in uh, and do that fairly quickly. If you leave it too much, too long, and you leave it out in sort of room temperature for too long, I'll show you the difference. It's not too bad. You can still obviously use the dough. It just takes a little bit more skill and a little bit more of our flour and semolina mix. So I'll show you, this one's been out uh, for a few hours now. And you can see it's sticking to the bag. So when it sticks to the bag, you've just got to manipulate it a little bit more out, just get it coming out of the bag. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this, obviously. But sometimes stating the obvious is the best thing to do. So here we go, you can see there, I've got a little bit of dough that's stuck on the actual plastic bag itself. And um, there, it's not that pleasant to do with that but I can still manipulate and work with the rest of the dough and knock it back as I would have done if it was in a pot. What do I do with it after that? I can place it in a bowl, cover it in cling film, let it prove and rise um, during the day. Um, I, yeah, that's, that's really what I would do to be perfectly honest at that point. Taking it out of the plastic bags, I would be now in the mode of getting it ready to cook, uh, which I should do with this one. So, but here's one I chilled earlier. So I chilled this one and you can just see here the difference in getting it out of the bag. It's a lot easier. So this was just in the fridge. Um, frozen overnight before I was using it. But there, matter of seconds, so much quicker. And now I knock it into shape, back into my dough ball like so. And again, I put this into a pot, into a bowl, I cover it with cling film, or I put the lid on with this um, and let that rest. This is obviously going to take a hell of a lot longer to get to room temperature than this one here. Um, but you can see with the springiness here of this one, it's not that far away from being ready to cook. Uh, probably about an hour or so, I would be able to whack that in my pizza oven or in the home oven behind me. Now, the other way, you've got it. When it is frozen, they are so easy to handle. And if you look at that there, you can see with the bag, it's just very, very easy. And then tear it, out it goes. But this, this, and one of the other reasons, not just the pot's cracking, but one of the other reasons we decided and opted to go for bags, we were getting people come to us and say, we would like to order your balls, but we haven't got enough space in our freezer. We're going to eat four this weekend, but we haven't even got enough space to put in the freezer the other four balls or the other eight balls or whatever it might have been. So much easier now to store these. In my freezer here, ignore the mess. I've got a few there, different bags. From where I had. I've got five in there. And those five, I'm going to take out of the freezer tonight and we have a bit of a pizza um, night evening on a Saturday. So I'll be cooking those tomorrow afternoon and just take them out. I'm going to switch them from fridge, uh, from freezer to fridge tonight. Um, and there we go. Just so, so, so much easier to actually um, store and handle um, when it's frozen and pop to the fridge. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe to us. We are looking at putting more, more and more videos out. Um, feel free to send me comments below. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, any of the above. There's various different um, links to those on the Great Balls of Flower website. But thank you very much for watching.